the way I like to approach it is that you know, I've got the zyg you know, I've got the bone right over here. That's where the arch is. Now what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be putting my needle right where the arch is, and I'm going to go from this area and deeper. I want to try to avoid all the major structures. Now I'm basically right where the muscle is, quite quite deep. You can definitely go perpendicularly if you want to. It's completely fine. It's you know a lot of people do that. I like doing this approach. Kind of just push into the material. Any pain, Roberta? No. Okay. I put a very small amount, kind of come out. You can see that little bolus is right over here, and I'm going to massage it. Just a little bit more. And at the same time, just massage. Massaging is just very, very key. Uh, as you can see, there's I, I don't want to jinx myself, but as you can see, there's minimal amount of bleeding that's happening. And the reason for this is that the speed of the injection itself, it has been shown it, if you inject very, very slowly, uh, then the risk of actual bleeding is much less. And that has been proven by a number of studies. It is not basically, it's not injector related. It's not how good the injector is. It's basically the rate of the uh, product coming out. So you want to keep it very, very slow while it's coming out. Oh, Roberta, let's, let's, have, let's see you now. I want to see her always sitting up. And as you can see, it's fantastic. And she's got great, you know, I'm going to show it to her. So Roberta's going to be looking at her temples. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. The face changed. Yes. As you can see, the temples and here even, are much longer. Even the eyes lifted. Right. Yeah. So well, if you inject the material over here, as, as Roberta rightfully said, it gives that little lift. So it basically, it can definitely open the eyes. Yes. Okay and uh, it can raise up the, also the, the eyebrow itself, and, and, and she can see that. Um, the, 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 the temple is the area that you need to, you can inject with calcium hydroxylapatite. The areas that you have to avoid is that you do not want to inject the orbital, uh, the, or, the you know, superior orbital rim. You do not want to inject right underneath with the, uh, the eyebrow itself. You can definitely inject it with hyaluronic acid, but not with calcium hydroxylapatite. It can harden up once it's done. You need something very much softer than uh, calcium hydroxylapatite. But you can get the much better results by injecting the temples, okay, and as we just rightfully did, and it's just basically changed the way that she looks. All right. Okay, so we're, now we're going to... Temples follows the exact same approach. I feel where the bone is and my needle kind of goes away, I let the hub right sit right over there while I'm going to be injecting. So my insertion is right here. There's a little pinch. You want to try to steer away from a lot of the vessels that are found over there. Some patients have a lot of veins. You don't want to prick any of those veins. We're a little bit on the deeper side. And we're injecting the material. Very, very slow. Massage is key. Still on the bone. Feeling the muscle. Uh, you actually feel the muscle on your needle itself and because it's very difficult to, to, be, to inject that area. So you, you know that you're in the muscle area. So that's where you're going to be putting your product in. You can definitely put it perpendicularly. But at the same time, I like this approach because it actually stabilizes my, uh, my needle itself, my syringe, right where the bone is. Cheeks very well enhanced. Roberta, did you feel anything? No. No pain. It's very good. Good. As long as, as long as, you know, as long as you have patients who are not complaining of pain, then no, you're, you're no, golden. Not at all. Good. Now, Roberta is very, very, she's a very patient patient. <laughs> but there, there, there are a number of patients who actually come and they, they are very much sensitive to the pain. 
So um, you have to be very, very careful on how to approach them. Um, one of the things that I usually like doing is something called talkesthesia. So basically you, you talk to them, you tell them how, the, how are the mm -hmm. kids and so forth and all that, where'd you go on vacation. They actually um, feel much relaxed. It's amazing how like when you are relaxed, how less pain you can actually feel. All right, now I'm going to ask Roberta to sit up again for me and I'm going to try to reassess. All right. So the areas that we treat, are you filming? The areas that we treated Roberta mainly are, are the cheeks themselves. We're kind of giving her that lift mainly on the sides over there. And at the same time, we've put a little bit on the temples. If we look at the before and after pictures that we took, you can definitely see that there's a little bit more difference going on over there, uh, especially on the temples. The, the, I think the most significant areas for her, she's not even seeing her cheeks. She's mainly seeing the temples. So the very, very small things, once they're picked up, up on, you know, they, they can actually you know, be significantly different. Yeah, the shape has changed.